and Q quest music. File. Save. So the good thing about editing on the fly is we should not have to go back and do it, but... Welcome to Whispers of Oxenfurt and the penultimate chapter of the Witcher Saga as we are almost finished together. in this several years long journey. While there is one episode left, okay, this is, the podcast is not going away. I still have to do season of... Put that a little bit closer. So now it's just tightening things up. If you... Oh, we're going to put music at the beginning so we can generate the silence. Um, Probably just 10 seconds. Yeah, just 10 second intro. You know, we're ADD over here. Not going away. Yeah, I got Flicks or set a project. Set a project. Futures. If you have not rated or reviewed the show, please do so now. It is the easiest way to support and takes so very little of your time. You know what? Go ahead and rate and review every podcast or show that you regularly listen to the next time you play an episode. But enough talk. Here is Lady of the Lake, Chapter 11. Um, we're not going to put any music there because that's too much. So we'll put it in about a couple seconds. Uh, maybe second and a half. After 11. They rode through the dark Good and enough. wet nights, these three demons on horseback. Children awakened in terror as their mothers and fathers comforted them as best they could. One of the women, dressed in black and white, her raven hair, okay, that's all good. So he's going to be these ones. Illuminated his path. Full face. The man okay. illuminated his path. Illuminated his path. Ooh, that's a little poppy, but I think we're good. So I keep it at maybe like a second and a half. So one about right there. So I'm going to put it like right there. No, that's still, that's too much. Put it like there. Illuminated his path. They enter the downtrodden yeah, village of Jealousy. The girl called out to a local. Last September, girls, do you recall? After confirmation, the man pointed out where they were laid to rest. Yeah, I should have put these. Fur I should have put these type, uh, tighter together. So put that about half a second. Laid to rest. Fur branches had turned brown over the burial. Mm, yeah, that's good. To rest. Fir branches had turned brown over the burial mound edged by brick and stone. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young knight. By the widow Golyu. What the fuck? I, I, did I say wi Oh my fucking god, I said widow again? I cut that out. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. God damn it. <laughs> Whittle, whittle. I swear. I changed that. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. Golyu had passed on and was... God damn it. No. Mute. Oh, I didn't. God damn it. I gotta, I gotta stop cursing. Nah, whatever. Uh, generate silence. This is really only about like five seconds. So we can just do five seconds, go at that, then we can pull it back down. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. I didn't say whittle, did I? I made by the whittle wab, the whittle wabbit. By brick and stone. Too far away. Uh, no, no, no. I want to do this. Tighten this up. Stone. By brick. brick and stone. 147. It was made by the widow. Oh, yeah. I was like, why is that so low? It was made by the widow Golyu and the young Nykler. Good. No whittle there. Jesus. Widow Golyu and the young Nykler. Golyu had passed on. Ooh, we got a little. Golyu. Ooh, ho, ho. That's why we check back. Gold Goldie would yep. generate silence. Boom. Let's see it. Nykler. Goldie would pass. Young Nykler. Goldie would pass. It still sounds like I've still sounds like it's on there. Goldie. Goldie. Why 
Why does that still sound like it's on there? Clear. Goliwood passed yeah. on and was buried nearby, and Nykler had been sent off to war, and it was said that he fell in battle. I forgot, said the ashen-haired demon. I forgot that destiny tied both of them to me. She bent over the mound for a time and staggered as she stood up. Her hands tightened from the long rides. The man addressed the woman as Falca, but she followed with a quick retort of, Falca. My name is not Falca. My name is Siri. Siri. The demons continued on to Claremont, where coincidentally, a massive fire had broken out at the local amphitheater, where animal fights and other forms of entertainment had been held. Huvenegal held. Something's in there. When in doubt, generate silence. It had been held. Huvenegal, a local leader, cried out for the fire brigade, but it was in vain. The theater, brewery, and granary he owned were all lost in the fires, but they were insured. Unfortunately for him, the insurance company was also his. For him. Uh, to tighten that up. It was also his. The horrors of the that fighting pit were infamous, and their retellings of monsters. What? The horrors of the fighting. Jesus, that say whore? That sound like that sounds like horrors. The horrors of the fighting pit were infamous, and their retellings of monsters tearing each other apart to the tune of locals singing and chanting. Siri rode away from Claremont, leaving the legacy of the fighting pit in ruin. Ruin. Should be ruin, right? Who do you still have to pay? Not runes. It's ruin. Who do you still have to pay back, Siri? queried the witcher. On to the town of Unicorn. I want the residents to have a souvenir of what happened. After that, to the swamps of Paraplut. To a the swamps of Paraplut. To a cottage amidst the murky waters. I want the remains of the man there to be buried in a decent grave. After, to the settlement of Dondere, where the innkeeper may have been murdered because of me. I will speak to it in their eyes. I hope take. Do you understand that, Geralt? So I want that to hit a little bit. Because, again, that's uh, some powerful words there from Siri. So I want to linger more than usual. So let it go about a half second long. that, Geralt. So let that the go horse about is bored of the wind with a vengeance reserved for the almighty. Second. Rumors of the wild hunt began to circulate. Wild hunt. Three spectral riders wild tearing into the quiet night, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Tales were spun about war Chivalry and heroism, friendship and hatred, wickedness and betrayal, punishment to criminals, and a justice that was always just. Legend just. Always just. Did I cut that off? That was always just. Oh, I did. All right, we'll cut off this way. I guess there's a... Legends grew about the God damn it. Well, and the lady of the lake. Free with a moment of respite, okay. the witcher and sorceress took each other in their arms haphazardly, but were greatly surprised by how much simple lovemaking had brought them happiness. A brightness billowed over the camp. Ten women sat around a large table. Bring, Bring her to, to us, us, Yennefer. Oh, a shadow order. production. Ordered. I'm not afraid of them, Mama. They cannot do anything Siri to me. Siri also calls Yen Mama, but never The shadow calls spat out another command. We, we order you both to appear. We, we warn you, Daddy, that, that we will punish, punish disobedience. disobedience. Uh, cut off. A little bit more. Yes. Okay. The following day, the sorceress explained, I am going away. Siri is staying with you. Then I will summon her, and she will go away as well. And then we shall all meet again. <laughs> this is for the betterment of all. When cut a little bit. This is for the betterment of all. <laughs> when we meet again, she said gently, I'll make up for everything. There has been too much silence between us. When we meet again. We are off to the fairy tale country I told you about, the witcher stated bluntly. Every fairy tale ends badly, and there aren't any fairy tale lands. I think we know the quote for the episode, Siri replied. We were off to see Dandelion. I promised to visit, to, to return after. 
The witcher's voice trailed off oh, into the fairy tale distance. Milva, Kyer, Regis, Angoulême. R.I.P. Dead because of me. A sword. Generate that silence. Me. A sword is a double-edged weapon, wielded in one direction. Its reckoning shall always come to pass. Too much. But we want to let it leave because, again, it's a little solid quote. So about one second. Second and a half. Pass. Yeah. Second and a half. They entered the town square and happened upon an execution of Dandelion. Upon realizing it was him, Geralt thought to himself, It is unfair. I know it was stupid and naive to think that anything ever Sulking depended on Geralt. me. That I somehow influenced the fate of the world. Sulking Geralt alert. That it owed me anything. It is unfair. By chance, Dandelion was given a late reprieve by the Duchess and exiled from the land. The three of them rode... Oh, yeah, exiled. And exiled from the land. Ex the three of them rode north, not as that. spectral riders terrorizing the night, but three ragged travelers keen on a destination. Ciri says she will ride to Vengerberg to Ciri meet up with Yennefer, she, she, as Geralt will make for Rivia tighten that up. and that surprise of his. Don't make faces, surprise me, Ciri muttered. Fork. It is only six days. Six days we shall meet again. Goodbye. Goodbye. As she rode away, the witcher felt as if a cold and awful claw had wrapped around his stomach. The duo made their way onward and came upon a column of settlers, Nilfgaardians being forced off the land they occupied during the invasion. Men, women, and children had to be supported as they walked, carrying their only possessions. Please don't get involved pleaded the bard. Get involved, rescue somebody, and risk my neck for some noble principle. Oh no, not any longer. At Monte Carlo Lodge, uh, the... Two seconds, yeah, cut that about there. Longer. At Monte Carlo Lodge, the dark-haired, dark-eyed Madame Al welcomed the mother and daughter. I am no guest, said Siri. I was summoned to be informed about my fate, and so it shall be. As for Yennefer, her fate applies to me as well. We shall not be rent asunder. After being chastised by Sheila de Tancreville, Madame Al informed Ciri of her fate. You will go to Covir with Sheila and I to meet the king and queen, and their son, Prince Tancred. You will become his lover and bear his child. As you are no longer Cirilla of Sintra, you shall only attain the status of Lava, a favorite. It is imperative the he favorite. impregnate you as soon as possible. Yeeks. Possible. A wry smile. Smile split Ciri's face. You called me a monster at Thanid. Now you say I am one of you. I am one of you. The Lodge informed her that they would Crows. cover her scar and make her beautiful again and could take the name of Ciri Eilhart or Ciri Tankerville. But she only had one request. She is Ciri of Vengerberg, daughter of Yennefer. And with that, Madame Al says the I matter. I think the matter is over. Yeah. So now, we got to move this over there. The easiest way is to always generate that silence. Settled. I have to think the matter over. The matter is Make settled. Sure about the same I have wavelength. to think the matter over. Yep. I arranged to meet Geralt and Rivia, and I will keep Pretty that good. promise, with or without your permission. When we rode away from Stiga, leaving corpses in our wake, Stiga. I asked them if this was the end, if we were victorious, if good had triumphed over evil. He smiled sadly. I thought it must have been from raggedness or burying his friends. But now I know what it meant. It was smile at the pity of a foolish child who thought the slit throats of Vilgefortz and Bonnert meant that it was over. I really must tell him that I've grown wiser, and now I understand. You have not learned a thing, said Sheila. You are an arrogant child who lacks discipline, and for your own good needs to be told what to do. The Lodge then takes up a vote on Siri, and it is deadlocked, leaving the deciding vote up to Madame Owl. That thing is destined Madame Owl. 
think I'm hearing something in there. Madam Owl. Deciding vote. Up to Madam Owl. That thing is destiny, which I, Philippa Eilhart, have only recently started Philippa to believe Eilhart. in. Which I have only recently started to understand. Oh, Philippa. Destiny isn't the judgments of providence. It isn't scrolls written down. It is not fatalism. Destiny is hope. Believing that what will happen. Destiny. See, I can hear just ever so slightly. Down. It is not fatalism. Destiny is hope. Believing that what will happen is what is meant to happen. I cast my vote. I vote for Siri, the child of destiny, the child of hope. Down. Shit. All right, so that's all done. So now, all good, all good, all good. We need to reduce the background noise. So we reduce the background noise by finding a spot going away. Where the mic is still on, like right in here. I'm not speaking into it, but it's kind of in the background. You can see it's still kind of there. See it going? See it going? See it going? So we take a snippet. We go to Effect. You go to Noise Reduction. You go to Get Noise Profile. You then do Control A to select everything. Go back to Effect. Go back to Noise Reduction and click OK. And this should greatly reduce, reduce, greatly reduce those very, very, very hard to hear noises. A lot of which I got rid of. This will get rid of most of the ones that I could not hear, but maybe could barely be picked up on some very good type of headphones or very loud. So now we click through there. Nothing. See, there's nothing up there now. I still have to do going away. Greatly reduces Cheers. if you have all of that in there. So that is imperative. Save project. That is imperative to getting that down. So now what we're going to do. Um, I don't know if I can get both of all of these on there. So pretty much done with this. We'll go back up there for. Yeah, I need to clean this up. There's a my round over two stuff. So Lady Lake 11. So we're going to do that one. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Lady of the Lake, Chapter 11. Wait, what the fuck is this? Now I'm confused. What is this? Lady of the Lake, Chapter 11. Did I? St oh, I, that's right. I recorded this a couple weeks ago, but did not care for it. So we're going to. I'm going to dump that and hope I did the right one. A podcasting folder, which your music, what music are we going to put in for this episode? City Nightingale's a good one. It's going to be super loud, isn't it? Nightingale's not bad. I like Blood on a Cobblestone. Widowmaker, sadly, that might, uh... Maybe that should be next week. Yeah, that might be next week. Make up Forge and Fire, Cloak and Dagger. The Banks of the San Strator. I played that last one. The Unsaved. They were in Tucson. Good one. Yeah, we're gonna. I will always look for an excuse to play this. So this is what we're going to use for the intro music. We're going to dump it in there. We're going to greatly reduce the shit out of that because it is so goddamn loud. And that's the only music we're going to play. 
Follow whenever the podcast ends. If somehow you have not listened to this before and you're just checking this out for whatever reason, we always end it with the Witcher 3 completed quest sound. So we dump this. Oh, fuck. Oops. So we dump this in there. And that's all we've got for here. So that's going to go at the very end. So we take this one and we drag it all the way down to the end. We will deal with that in time. We control one to zoom in. Put that down for now. We go back up to that. Excuse me. We're just going to play the beginning of this. So we... It's gonna just zoom people awake, jolt people awake. So we're gonna go. So we start talking. Welcome to Whis That is entirely too loud. God, that's so fucking loud. So then let's dump everything past here. So we're going to drag that, we're going to go there, we're going to go there. It's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm lazy. We're going to go to here, oh shit. And then we're going to take all of this, we're going to start it at right here, and we're going to fade it out. And that's, you know what, that might be too long, yeah, that's too long. We're going to go down to like here, and we're going to fade it out starting right here and see what it sounds like. So we're still under a bit. Welcome to Whispers of Oxenfurt and the penultimate chapter of the Witcher Saga as we are almost finished in this several years long journey. While there is one episode left from the novels, and hopefully the final one will provide something special, the podcast is not going away. I still have to do Perfect. Season of Storms, and of course we'll... That'll do for there, as always. Let's save our project. So now we've got one more thing at the end. I'm not doing an outro, because I want those Madam Owl words to hit. So we put this here, but we have to get it. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. We scroll back to the end. We want it lined up right on the end right when it ends here right when this ends there maybe not right when it ends let's try this let's see what happens oh yeah that's gonna be pretty loud too so let's see here the child of hope and then that's it and then whack and we're done. That's it. That sounds like an episode. So we say what we say the project is. Welcome to Whispers. I think we're good to go with it. So we've saved it. We're now going to export it in this best sound as an MP3, Lady of the Lake Chapter 11. We're going to save it. We're going to clear all this. The artist's name we're going to put as Vispers of Oxenfert. Whispers of Oxenfurt, track title. Uh, I can't remember what I was putting in this. Um, but it's going to be, we're just going to put chapter 11, album title. Late, I guess it's the Lady of the Lake technically as I'm looking at it right now. But I always call it just Lady of the Lake. I like Lady of the Lake. I think that's the other way of it. Album title, Lady of the Lake. Track title, we're going 11. Year 2020. Now we export it, remaining time. I guess it's only gonna take that. It's a good thing about a eight or nine minute podcast. And then we will go, oh yeah, so we got that up. Then we'll go to the website, we'll go to Anchor. Let me make sure I don't have anything. Let me sign in to Anchor. Uh, there we go. Ba, 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 da. Lady of the Lake. 
just this. Don't make faces. Every fairy tale ends badly, and there aren't any fairy tale lands. That's what's going to be our quote, because we are always upbeat and positive here. So we've got. Making sure I don't have. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess y'all saw the, pl oh, the plays in the audience, the unique listeners that came up. So, episodes. Let's go to new episode. My last one was fucking July 7th. It was chapter 10. It was a lot longer. I guess a lot happened there. All right, so we've got this here. We are good with this. We can X out. Yes, I want to save. Uh, right there. That's what we're looking at. Lady of the Lake, chapter 11. Let's make sure. Oh, I was like, why in the world is that so low? Welcome to Whispers that of Oxenfurt and the penultimate chapter of the Witcher Saga exactly as we are minutes, almost finished shit. in this several years long do that journey. Again, it. While there is one episode left from the father's come and hair demon to the settlement to me, a naive occupied with Ciri's face, whose smile meant to ha Oops. happen is what is meant to happen. I cast my vote. I vote for Ciri, the child of destiny, the child of hope. And done. All right. So we drag it over here. It might upload a little bit. I need to go find everything else I usually put in here. So let me go back to Anchor. Go back to the episodes. Find what I put in last time. View episode details. Oh, I guess I discussed false Siri last time. I guess there's not much actually had on there. Put up the YouTube videos. All right, so we've got that in. Lady Lake, save episode. Yes, save episode. Episode title, this is going to be episode 45. The Lady of the Lake. Chapter 11. Those are the things I have in there. Oh, yeah, the quote. Um, what did I have? Lady of the Lake. <laughs> Every fairy tale in Valley, no more fairy tale lands. There we go. There are no fairy tale lands. Put on there, please. Right. And review the podcast where ever you are getting it from, wherever you are listening, wherever you are listening to the podcast, podcast on whatever platform you are using. I love you. One cast in there, from the valley, another fairy tale lands. And then, good enough. Twitter's on there. Twitcher's on there. YouTube is on there. Email is on there. Which your podcast. Publish date now. Season number. Oh, that's a good one. What is this? Have I been doing this? Uh, I've not been doing it apparently, so I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to say we're good. And that should be it, right? Published. Now to check the old phone to make sure we are good. Let's see. It's not coming up yet. Maybe it takes a little bit because it's anchor. Let's 
Okay. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be up there. Okay. Well, that's going to do it. I should actually put this probably on YouTube for those to catch the VOD. Otherwise, if you have checked this out, thank you very much. Those that stopped by, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. If anybody's watching this again later, this is a very, very easy, very, very basic way to make a podcast. The vast majority of my time goes into the research and the script and all of that. I try to make the editing, as you can see there, as simple as possible. So, again, thank you all for joining. And I'll see you next time.